Hello everybody, this is a guide designed to help you choose your list from your roster in a competitive format. Once you find out whom you are facing, you can combat their weaknesses by identifying their strengths. Keep in mind that everything is irrelevant when special characters are included. I'm focusing on the core book and initial releases of factions. All the special characters modify factions extensively. The strengths are kind of set in a rule of threes. The two primary strengths of offense are ranged and melee. The two strengths of survivability are armor and numbers. Finally, each faction typically has a gimmick and it lies in one of three categories. Either they have really strong stratagems, a really powerful model, or a passive ability. The weaknesses of offense are almost like opposites. Ranged armies are weak to melee armies, and melee armies are weak to ranged armies. To combat survivability, armor is weak to armor-piercing weapons, and numbers, as in quantity of models on the board, is weak to quantity of shots. To combat armies with strong stratagems, you want to try and take out their leader as soon as possible to limit the amount of stratagems they can cast. Armies with a very strong model simply take out that model that is giving the team something very powerful. However, it's very difficult to combat armies with a passive because there is nothing that you can do to combat their passive. An example of a powerful ranged army is the Astra Militarum. They can take a large quantity of ranged weapons and they're also weak in their melee combat because they have a sort of low weapon skill and they don't have a very large quantity of attacks. However, by contrast, a strong melee army would be the Gene Sealer Colts, where they have more attacks and a very powerful weapon skill. In terms of survivability, both of these armies' uh, survivability would be their numbers. In contrast, Space Marine type armies typically have strong armor, and that is how they achieve their survivability. Additionally, the Space Marine factions tend to have very powerful stratagems, so you want to take out their leader so that way they cannot get these special abilities. The Astra Militarum was a phenomenal example of a model-based gimmick army because their leader can issue orders to their other troops. Now for their passive, uh, a good army would be the Gene Sealer Colts getting their Colt ambush to get a potential free move before the game begins and then move again in their movement phase. Something interesting to note is that certain gimmicks for some armies will be model based and others will be passive based. For instance, if we look at the Thousand Suns and the Grey Knights in the Thousand Suns army, their strength is the Aspiring Sorcerer. That model is their strong unit. And if you include elites, they have two sorcerers that can cast two psychic powers. If you look at the Grey Knights, however, their passive is that everyone is a psyker and any one of them could cast a psychic power. Most factions end up having three strengths. Uh, however, some factions have four strengths. For instance, in the Space Marine type chapters, they will have two strengths in the offense category with powerful ranged attacks and powerful melee attacks. These factions tend to have weaknesses in numbers where it's very easy to limit their board control once you've taken out just a few guys. Mm -hmm.